Remember when TV was easy? You sit down, you grab the remote, you press power, something's just there. If you don't like it, no problem, just switch channels. Now, finding a show is like trying to remember what's going on in Game of Thrones. There's too many options and I can't even remember where anyone is or what their name is. I've been testing a lot of gadgets and apps and there's no perfect solution for all of this yet. But I did find that in trying to make all of this mess make sense, this is actually your best weapon. With the right apps, and you're gonna need a lot of them, your phone can be a seriously useful universal remote. It's also a great use for your older, no longer used devices, by the way. I've been using this old 6S Plus as my living room remote, and it's working great. The first thing you need to do is download the app for every set-top box, cable box, smart TV, and streaming dongle you have. Roku has a great app for Android and iOS, as does the Amazon Fire TV. Comcast has an app for your cable box, as does AT&T and lots of others. They're generally pretty easy to set up over Wi-Fi, and they come in handy way more often than you think. These apps make it easier to type searches, find content, or just work as backup remotes if you lose the actual remote in the couch. Then you have to download, believe it or not, so many more things. You need the live services like Sling and YouTube TV, the Hulus and Netflixes and HBO Nows, all of the apps you get through your cable provider, just everything you can think of. Even if you don't actually watch anything on your phone, a lot of these apps let you use AirPlay or Google Cast to send stuff from your phone to your TV. If you have a Chromecast, a Roku, or an Apple TV, or smart TVs from Vizio and others, you can go through the entire process of finding stuff to watch on your phone and then just punt it to your TV to watch. The ideal setup here would be that you can just control all of this right from your phone. A few Android phones, like this Huawei Mate 10 Pro, have IR blasters built in, so they can send out signals that your other devices understand. But most phones, including iPhones, just can't do that. You can buy a device like this Logitech Harmony Hub, which will translate your phone signals into those IR signals. But even in the best case, that setup is kind of finicky. Besides, controlling everything is only half the battle. The other half is actually finding stuff to watch. What you really need is a TV search engine. You can use Google, by the way. Search for something like Watch the Good Place, and it'll give you at least a partial list of places you can find the show. I also like Real Good for the same kind of search. It searches hundreds of services and has lots of recommendations and search options. When you find something, they'll jump straight into those streaming service apps I just made you download and start playing whatever you wanted to watch. Problem is that universal search isn't actually universal. No one service tracks all the shows or all the streaming services or even gets close. Way too often the best you can do is still just text your friends to see what they're watching or browse forever in some crazy category on Netflix. Or you could do what I do and just wind up watching The Great British Baking Show for the 30th time. Ugh, this makes me hungry. Alexa, will you order some cannoli? I just sent some top picks for cannoli to your phone. 